This is SAT test 8, calculator question number 5. College Board gives us a diagram, tells us that lines L and M are parallel, and gives us the value of angle Y is 20 degrees, Z is 60 degrees, and they ask for the value of angle X, where this picture is not to scale. Since L and M are parallel, this angle that's Y and this angle here, which I'll label as Y, have to be equal. And now I know that y equals 20 degrees. We were given that z is 60 degrees. So the triangle up here, the small triangle at the top, has angles of 20 and 60 and x. The angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So x plus 20 plus 60 equals 180. x plus 80 equals 180. Subtract 80 from both sides, and x equals 100. The angle at x is 100 degrees. It is shown as an acute angle, but they do say figure not to scale. It's important to watch for that. Also, if they do not say figure not to scale, then the figure is to scale, and you can use estimates from the figure to help rule out choices. In this case, we came up with 100, which is choice B. College Board often asks triangle questions, especially similar triangle questions, so make sure you're proficient at this and you should expect to see it on your SAT. And come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.